Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to solve day 28 problem of this month on lead code. Before starting, if you guys haven't subscribed my YouTube channel yet, then please go ahead and subscribe it. Now without any delay, let's get started with today's problem. Problem number 976, largest perimeter triangle. So in this problem, we have given an integer array nums and we have to return the largest perimeter of a triangle with the non zero area, right? formed from three of these lengths, right? And if it, it is impossible to form any triangle of a non-zero area, then in that case, we have to return zero. Now, first thing, what is the perimeter of a triangle? So perimeter of triangle is nothing but the sum of all the sides of a triangle, right? So here, if you see formula for perimeter of a triangle, if the three side lengths of a triangle are A, B, C, then the perimeter is simply the sum of its three sides, done? Right. Now here, if you see example number one, we have only uh, these three sides given in the nums, right? So first to form a valid triangle. So this condition should be met, right? So let's suppose this is my triangle like this. And let's say this side is A, this side is B, this side is C, right? So here, the sum of B plus C, right? Sum of other two sides, it should be greater than A. Same way here, sum of other two sides, A plus C, it should be greater than B, right? And here also same thing. The sum of other two sides that is nothing but a plus b these values should be greater than c value right so this is nothing but the property of a valid triangle right so here if you see uh without laws of generality say the side lengths of a triangle are a b and c and here i'm saying that a is less than equal to b and b is less than equal to c right the necessary and sufficient condition for these lengths to form a triangle of a non-zero area is a plus b this value should be greater than c so here if you notice this uh, a and b is already smaller than c right smaller than or equal to right but c is the largest side here right so if a summation of a plus b is greater than c i'm saying that my triangle is valid but if i'm saying like this same way if i place let's say c here in this side then definitely this is going to be bigger and here if i'm placing like this b plus c so definitely it is going to be bigger than a why because here some of the two smaller sides right is already greater than the c which is larger so if i place the larger value here itself then also this value is going to become larger only right so i have to just make sure that this condition is valid right so here let's say if i'm taking two sides right a plus b and i'm saying that if it is greater than c so that is true right 2 plus 3 is greater than 4 right 5 is greater than 4 right so here i'm getting a sum as 2 plus 3 five right but here uh, if this is valid then also this these two are already going to be valid only because here i'm using c in this side so a plus c this value is always going to come bigger than uh previous a plus b and b plus c is nothing but seven this value is always going to come bigger so i just need to make sure that this is valid if this is valid all these are already valid right so here say we knew c already right there is no reason not to choose the largest possible a and b from the array if a plus b is greater than c then it forms a triangle otherwise it doesn't right so here if we know c already right and the perimeter of the triangle is nothing but the sum of all the sides right a plus b plus c so i want the max uh, largest perimeter right so i want c value to be max right so i can do one thing here i can sort my array one two two and i'm going to treat this as c so if this is my c then i have to choose this as a and this as b and i just need to make sure that a plus b is greater than c right that's it so here yes in this case it's a uh, bigger right so here i'm returning out plus five two plus two plus one five here also in this example number two uh if i sort it one one two ten why i'm sorting because i need c larger value right so now i'm going to fix this as my c so now if this c is fixed right done so now after that can i choose this as b and this as my a so one plus two uh is greater than ten no this is not valid right 1 plus 2 is not greater than this, right? Uh, here, if you see, you can't use the side length 1, 1, 10, right? A, this value should be greater than, right? So, this is not valid. So, next time, uh, let's say I'm fixing this as my C. So, if I'm fixing this as my C, then also A plus B, uh, this value is not going to come greater than uh, this C, right? It is equal to this, right? So, this is also not valid. So, if I fix this as my C, then I can't form A. A and B, A and B is not there, right? So in this case, uh, we have to return zero, right? As we can't use any three side lengths to form a triangle of a non-zero area, we return zero, right? And these are the constants: nums dot length from three to ten to the power four, and nums of i value from one to ten to the power six, right? So from here, I conclude that I want a parameter to be A, B, C. I want C to be maxed, so I'm just going to sort the array, and then I'm going to start from this max value. So let's see. 
very simple nothing complex here just uh, we need to do, do the sorting so here i'm doing sorting address dot sort and here i'm just going to pass nums and here int n is nothing but nums dot length and after that we have to check the triplets from the largest to smallest that's it so here for int i is equal to n minus 1 and here i'm going to say i is greater than equal to 2 and here i minus minus and i is greater than equal to 2 means i need a and b also right so here i is nothing but it is denoting the c value right so here if my c value that is nothing but nums of i right so this value it should be uh, smaller than the summation of previous two values right so here i'm going to write nums of i minus 1 plus nums of i minus 2 that's it right so if this is the case then in that case simply you have to return what you have to return nums of i plus nums of i minus 1 and here you have to return nums of i plus 2 that's it and otherwise you have to simply return 0 that's it okay no value triangle plus 2 right and let's run it so see all the test cases have been accepted right now i have submitted it so see our solution is accepted right and the time complexity for this problem is going to be of n log n because of the sorting that we are doing right so i hope that you guys are able to understand today's problem and if you guys still have any doubts then please feel free to ask in comment section till then keep coding and keep practicing with you in the next video thank you bye bye